Hey guys, how's it going? RGJ Ryan here, and we're back again with part 11 of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Oh, how time flies. Feels like only yesterday I started the first part. So, what do I do here? It's kind of obvious, I have to go through this door. Okay, maybe not. I thought that was going to be quite obvious. Oh yeah, there was water back there, so I to pull the lever. That needs to be greased. Now, where am I going to get greased from? Is there just going to be a jar laying about here somewhere? Will it be that freaking easy? Oh no, it's not. It's freaking amnesia. Nothing's easy in this game. Uh, just going to run about here, see if there's anything that can grease up the lever. No, there isn't. Wait, hold on, hold on, what was that? The vessel is needed to carry the oil. Ooh, I suppose that'll do. Freaking genius. Now this is why I go to school. To pick up grease and whatnot. Become a grease monkey. So I just got to put the oil here, I assume. Okay. Freaking joking me, right? Broken pipes blocking the ladder. However, it's got somewhat damaged by the impact. Oh, impact. Impact, you say? Okay. This is obvious. Okay, that's one thing I didn't go to school for. Throwing rocks. But this is what we need to be taught in school. How to throw rocks properly. Uh, not for vandalism, though. For uh, constructive purposes. Although what I'm doing here is mainly destructive, and that's, that didn't do anything. That almost smacked me in the face. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. If I maybe. Oh, I see how this is going to work. Okay, and again, one last time. Whoops. Let's try that again. Oh, we can do the... Ah, there we go. Ah. Ingenuity. Okie dokie, so I've got to lower that bridge and that bridge, obviously. Obviously. Excuse me. Why did that work? Hmm, okay. Take your time, Jim. Take your time. Okay, I got a note. No, it's a diary entry. Um, I don't, I don't go into notes again. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Notes. This machine is broken. Daniel's not self. He's in Madam Shield. Mementos. Repair the machine powering the Eastern Bridge. Yeah, that sounds simple enough. Control room. Ah, shit, I forgot to time this. Because I'm promising myself that this will only be about 15 minutes. 
this time I'm really promising myself it will be 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is just try and find my timer app on my phone. Alright. That's it. So I'm not sure how long I am into this. I'd, I'd say probably about two or three minutes, so I'll let it go for twelve. Ah, nuzzles! It's stuck in its position. What, do I need more glue or something? What the hell, glue? I definitely don't need glue. Definitely not, sir. This, is this pipe here for a reason? Uh, I know I'll take it with me just in case. It does look important. Anywhere I can put this in here? No? No? Ooh, and there's a bit of a glow to this one. Well, there was. Can this move? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It can move a small bit. Hmm, that doesn't look right. And slipped. No, that doesn't look right for some reason. Okay. Wait, 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 Maybe, just maybe, maybe those gongs, whatever they are, in that room have to, ma have to match up to these ones. So, lower, higher, middle. Lower, higher, middle. Alrighty then. Should be easy enough. Second go. Ah, the puzzles aren't that tough in this game. And I guess I have to go through here now. Wait, hold on, hold on, don't close, don't close. Just yes, gonna leave that here. Hold on. Just gonna get a second box. Will it work? Yes, it will. Because I want to get my pipes without having to run back for it. Want to get in there. Because there's nowhere I can place them in here, that much is obvious. God, God freaking damn it, Daniel. So, I'm going to have to do the whole Mario routine. And, wow, jeez, this place looks dangerous. It's 
sunk just to make sure that I can get back safely. So my two pipes are there. And I'm probably going to encounter something scary within the next few minutes. Maybe. Hopefully not. Ooh, another pipe. And a note, and screw this. <laughs> I'm not reading these notes anymore. But look, they're right here, you can read them. I'll go through them slowly. Hmm. There's only one page in that one. Okay, that makes things that bit more easier. And there's still no place I can put this pipe. So what I'll do is I'll leave it over here. Whatever relevance they have. Are they just something you can pick up anyway, or do they have, or do they have any relevance um, in this room or in this general area? Ooh, oil. Speaking of which, how am I on oil? Jeez, I have plenty, and plenty of tinder boxes. Uh, now, how will this work? Okay, that one's stuck, this one's stuck, and this one's stuck. Hmm. Alrighty then. I hope I don't have to go out again and get more oil, because that'll just be tedious. Oh, if I were a carpenter wouldn't crank, so that's going to be of some use. <sighs> Just exploring for any collectibles here, like more tinder boxes, even though I already have plenty, or oil. Surely I can move these. I'm guessing not that way. Oh sweet, I did something cool. Okay. Daniel? Is that you? What are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing? I've no idea. I'm just fidgeting about with levers and shit. Okay, last room. They could, oh, now I get it. My pipes go in there in some fashion. Don't misinterpret that. I wasn't implying anything by that. You dirty minds. So just gonna get that pipe, pipe number one, pipe number two. Numero trois. Boink. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. How did this go? Mm hmm. Does it automatically? That's pretty heavy. And this one. No, no, no. Okay. This is going to take a while. Oh no. That was simple enough. Alright. Now can I fidget with these things, or do they need to be fidgeted with? Oh. No, no. Wait, no, they don't. They're absolutely fine. Okay, going by my counter, I've done nine minutes, although I know I've done near enough twelve minutes. 
God damn it, Daniel. You and your freaking hands. Ah, what do I do? Do we live it back on? It's broken beyond repair. Says the man who got a whole steam machine working. And I am no fool, I know what this is for. Just gotta do a little twisty twist. Now hopefully there will be nothing scary out here to chase me. No, 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 good. Okay, awesome. I really like it when there's nothing chasing me. It's just the best feeling ever. Okay, maybe I can press this now. Or pull it. Oh no, wait, it was the other one. Oh, what now? I'm just going to assume I have to go in here to fully lower it. Uh, nothing simple in this game, is it? I have a feeling I'm going to encounter more of those water monsters. Hello. You are conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. Water mills, my ass. They are no more used to, to run water mills than, 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 than. Uh, I don't know. Can come up with anything. <sighs> okay, one last time. Ah, God, freaking damn it! Daniel, you awkward, awkward individual. I'm actually surprised I haven't encountered the invisible water demons. But I'm I'm sure I'll encounter them at some point once I've pressed the button, pulled the lever or something like that. Now nope, I'll go over here first. Because there's something I can Rest, god damn it. Uh, there really needs to be a school of jumping. Seriously, I'm bad when it comes to jumping. Well, in video games. Trust me, I've played Super Mario. I can't. Excuse me? Pardon me, what was that? Yeah, I didn't think so. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to
to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Whatever you attempted to banish, it didn't work because it's still following you. Okay, I should end this part soon, but I just really want to finish up in this room. Just so I can get it over and done with. Oh, oh holy shit. I was supposed to turn that lever or wheel. Uh, Rob, you are a freaking genius. In case you didn't know, I was being sarcastic. What's happening? What's happening now? Oh shit. Ah, there's nothing important up there anyway. Seriously, no water demons yet? Hmm. It's attached to a rusty chain and ceiling. So, what do I do? Just go. Try and jump up there and break with my hand like you do with everything? Like you do with everything else? Is that simple? No, it's not that simple. No. Uh, I'll have to use a more conventional method. So where to God if I miss this? Okay, got lined up perfectly. Sweet. Sweet, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely being stalked by a water devil, water demon, water monster. <sighs> oh joy. Okay, I, I guarantee you once I turn that lever, that's going to break. 8th August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. A bad feeling about this only now. Only now. Jeez. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, Danny? Okay, this is gonna break. You watch. Hmm. Surprising. I honestly thought that was going to break beneath my feet. Isn't me? Doesn't the game seem a bit laggy? Hmm. It does seem a small bit laggy. Oh well. Excuse me, I'm gonna repeat that again. I didn't hear you. Mm. Okay. Ah, shit. Oh. Okay. I hope this buff will make sick. Oh no, that wasn't the last one. I guess the last one is over here. Back of August, 1839. It is still early, 
and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Shit, this is going to be over 20 minutes again. God damn it. Redirect sewer water. Okay, fine. We'll just run our asses out of here. And once I uh, get back to the main hallway, to the cistern, I'll end our... Um, where do I go now? I'm kind of lost. Ah, uh, how the hell did I manage to get lost? Hmm. Oh no, 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 no. No fears, I found my way back. Shit, no I didn't. Aha! Oh yeah, okay. I've definitely found my way back. Alright. Yeah, I have. Okay, here we go. Entrance to sister. Apologies, this isn't part 10, this is part 11, I'm sorry. Part, part 10 will, will be up tomorrow, Thursday. Part 11 will be up on Friday. Friday. Part 10 is going to be... Uh, it's going to be circling the bo boxy ratio, not forget the ratio, number 16 to 8, 16 to 9. No, it's not. That, that'd be a white screen. Either way, it's not going to be... The main point is it's not going to be widescreen, unfortunately, because uh, when my computer crashed, so did the, or when my computer crashed, the settings of Amnesia got reset back to default, and I did not realize that when I, when I was recording. So I apologize for that. So I'm see you guys in part 12 before Beatle Monday. Anyway, got in this part sooner or later, so see ya.